I hope I have strong stomachs. Oh! Morelli, Mike, we recovered a picture of the family. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch, he's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt the thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved them into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? What? God damn. What are you doing? Rare effect is from the fire. Muscles and tendons contract. Praying? Like begging for the life? That's Find anything interesting? This picture of them. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs? No, I have not. Show some respect. Huh. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. But what about the guy we have in jail, fellas? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He's trying to redeem himself. Probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I <laughs> you had it rough lately. But you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? Sure, it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole. But I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Oh! Evidence! Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the pigs. Yeah, what the fuck is that one big? <laughs> he shouted evidence and just pissed off. What the hell? Do I really have to search through our old fucking house? Oh shit. to expose the foundations. A hammer! No, I don't think that's really good. <laughs> Well, nothing else there, I don't think. Nope. Oh. That 
nein. I think the music stopped. Oh. There's still evidence. <laughs> Baseball. This must be the boys' room. Flashlight. Happened. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I don't think this is anything. This must be the girls' room. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this room we fell over. What the fuck? Something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. You can get this guy, Hurry. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines in Bella Wood. Things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. Oh, you get this. So it's personal. You remember the list on the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around. What are the names? See what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try to set. Fire time. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Okay. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Wait, what? You couldn't have been asleep when you heard the explosion. You were asleep when you heard the explosion. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I could be thinking of it wrong. Wrong. What the you hell? A bit more Come on, kid. I'm doing my best here. You were talking about the competition, right? Catalina Island? I've got one of the flyers in the kitchen if you're interested. You smoke heavily, Mr. Foreman. No. I never touch tobacco. Why do you ask? What the hell? Those aren't mine. Any luck, Cole? Couple of things. What did you pick up? A folded piece of paper. It's complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. <laughs> paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Ah. 
Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. Or what? For Elysian Fields developments. Hmm. See you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Hmm. You didn't have that winter trip on that origami. I swear this town's going straight to hell. Yeah, the same fucking phone call. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. Yes, sir. 